What's up YouTube? With all the new themes, I thought I would do my top five. If you want to know how to add new themes, I'm going to make a separate video on that with a link in the description. But let's get started. In number five, we have Futura Dark. They do make a lighter blue colored one of these. I like the dark one. Just so you know, for all these videos, these, this image I'm working on only has artwork. It does not have video snaps. There's no video previews like Hyperspin or Track Mode or now Emulation Station supports video files but it does have box art. And as you can see, this is just a really fast scrolling, really easy to view. All the fonts are really large. You know, you can read everything really well. The font's not too distracting. It's super optimized. It's honestly my one of my favorites. Uh, the only reason that these other ones are gonna beat it is because graphically there are cooler themes out now. If it wasn't for the graphically uh, enticing themes out there this one would be my number one but I love it it's great you know look how look and going in between systems super fast if you want to scroll through a large index of games it scrolls really well everything loads up really quickly it's just beautiful really 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 nice easy to use super user friendly so that's number five Futura Dark really good stuff. In number four we have the comic book theme. Not only does this come in this resolution but you can also get it on 4.3 amongst some other resolutions as well. As you can see each system has its own background. Really cool, really visual. When you go in it does support video snaps as well. Font, you can read everything. I mean it's a little distracting the font. I have to say that it's a little like sideways and things like that but it looks really cool. And that's the whole idea is it looks like a comic book. So it's really beautiful, really clean, and really fast. I mean, this is another really fast theme that runs really great. Um, well organized, looks really cool. I mean, I like this page the best, which is all the different systems. I mean, like you got the Marshmallow Man over there. Super well optimized. I have to say that this isn't this isn't on the top of my list, but I know a lot of people that would put this on their number one. A friend of mine built a bar top. You can probably see on my video the bar top version two. Uh, he preferred this theme over any other theme that was available at the time. So I know a lot of people really like this, especially if you grew up with comic books or your Marvel fan or, or any kind of fan like that. It's really cool. Definitely goes hand in hand with retro gaming. So really cool theme. Really nice stuff. This is comic book. All right, in number three, we have Showcase. And as you can see, it totally changes Emulation Station. It makes Emulation Station look like a track mode. There's now a vertical wheel. And as you scroll that wheel, you have different systems. You can even have different collections. You go inside, easy to read font, really simple, great graphics, easy to read everything, really fast scroll. You go between systems, really smooth, no issues at all. There's a slight, you know, just getting between the games. No lag whatsoever. It's very beautiful. Um, I love it. I really like it. I like that it's vertical. I mean, not a, all, most of the emulation station themes out there scroll horizontally between the systems. So to have that vertical scroll is a nice little add-on. I mean, look how gorgeous this looks. It looks like you're using like a, a PlayStation backend or something like that or a way newer style um, operating system. So it's definitely killer. Uh, in number two, we have Phil's Doodles Retro Rama theme. And look at this. There is no menu whatsoever. It's just a full screen, gorgeous, comic book -li -li looking theme. How cool is this? And when you go inside, you have the custom, you know, instead of you have a little hand there that selects the ROMs. You, the font is easily readable. Super easy. The, instead of a star system, you have a POW system. You got all your information, release dates. I think it's a good balance of like, you know, certain details being a little smaller. And then like other things like the system and the box art and everything like that is well ratioed out. Um, it just looks amazing. I mean, the artwork on here is just killer. A lot of this was hand painted by Phil himself. Uh, beautiful. Just straight gorgeous. He killed it. The reason I wouldn't give this first place is because if you see the next one, you'll see that it's just very modern looking. And I think it would appeal for a lot more people. I think this is still kind of niche. Like, 
you know, people who like this kind of comic book theme are going to are going to love it and it's one of the best out there, if not the best. And number one, we have Magazine Madness. And do you see what I'm talking about now? How just, it's so HD. It actually looks like a 3D magazine in front of you. Beautiful box art. If you look at these magazines, Dwayne Hurst is the one who made these. He even wrote details, like these little Easter eggs within the bottom of these magazines here. And this is when modern meets retro. You know, I have to give it to Phil, it's a perfect match. But it's kind of cool to see modern architecture with the retro gaming. So you have super modern here, you go into the system, you know, it's still fairly modern looking. Um, you also have the ability to do video snaps on this theme as well. And, um, you got these little TVs with the games in them. Super fast, side to side. Um, if you go back, it's very quick as well. So very responsive. And it's, it's really this front screen that really does it for me. Of just how these detail, all these little details, and how HD it looks. I don't know if it looks this amazing on your screen, but on my screen right now, it looks killer. I mean, I would use this for, like I mentioned in a previous one of these, like, you know, when you load up your PlayStation, the PlayStation operating system, it's got all the little, the backgrounds moving, or like the background on your phone. You know, it's just, you could do all sorts of customization with it. It looks very HD. This gives me a similar experience. And so I like that. I like the modern meets the retro gaming. It's, it's just, I've yet to see anything like that. If you look at all the old emulation station themes, like the carbon, the pixel, all that stuff, this is the first time where you're seeing like HD graphics. So I guess that's really why it just kind of elevated this all to another level. Um, we're seeing that now showcase in some of these other ones as well. And there's now the tile um, theme as well, um, which is which is gorgeous. So uh, I'm just amazed at what kind of doors this is open. And I know that there's going to be a lot more themes just like this coming up. So there you have it. That's my top five. The one thing I didn't like about this theme, and I mentioned it before, is I don't like how small the menu area is here. But that's just for my concern for most of the people watching. See, for me, like I usually know what game I want to get. So if I'm in PlayStation and I want Crash Bandicoot, I'll just go over to C and then you know hit, and then I'd get there. But this one doesn't have it on there, so <laughs> it's not there. But if it was there, it would go directly there. Or you know, Sega Genesis. If I want Sonic, I just go down to S. So the menu is not that big of a deal for me, you know, but if you do have a large collection of games, it's nice to see more than, what is this, like eight or nine at a time, but it's still a great, 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 great theme. It's a really small, small detail, um, but if you go back, I mean, look at this, look at that, pretty nice. What'd you guys think? What's your number one? What's your number two? What's your top three? Let me know your top three. Put it in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys on the next one.